hello everybody and uh, welcome to yet another live stream painting video tonight we are or today depending where do you live we are going to continue painting my war cry miniatures so last time we painted the iron clads and the guys are finished let me just quickly show you how they look so here they are I have this cute little thing to hold them in so we painted this guy as you remember and this is the rest of the gang I'll just go quickly through it so I still didn't paint the bases uh, I'm still deciding deciding how I want them to look so we'll see about that and this little guy I think I painted, he painted him in like 25 minutes this little dwarf he was really super easy to paint and then we have this guy and we have the guy with the really nice hammer and the head of the beast untamed beasts and we have this one and last but not least this guy with a shield that I think I already showed it, showed him so yeah these guys are done I'm really super super satisfied how they turned out they look really really nice because it is a little bit different scheme because these are like blue and they're supposed to be red but it is what it is so today we are going to continue painting but we are going to paint the untamed beasts and I decided I want to paint this guy for you I was thinking about painting the main character the leader it's this guy here and he is a really attractive miniature but there is like gazillion painting videos for how to paint the leader so I decided to go for something else this one is was an option but although I really like this miniature it looks super cool I'm not sure on some parts how I want to paint this because these miniatures are basically brown in all kinds of different shades 50 shades of brown yeah so I decided to go with this one because I know how I want everything to do with this guy over here so we are going to start and painting that one uh, as you can see here in the background I'll show them first I already painted some because I needed to try out a paint scheme so this is the feral cat or however it is called and uh, since I really like this uh, contrast colors I will be mostly painting with those and this I will be using for all my animals in the war cry because it looks just awesome the animals look really stunning so I tried as you can see some black details on the fur and yeah this is the cat or the lion whatever it is and I also painted these little fellas because I wanted to try different skin tones this is like the darker one and this is the slightly lighter I have one else one other color of skin that is even lighter than this one but I think all the miniatures will probably end up with this one and maybe one or two with this because I kinda don't like it it's too dark you have to go and highlight it back again and I'm painting with contrast colors because I wanted this to be done quickly as soon as possible because I want to play with the fully painted set something that uh, when I played Warhammer in uh, old days okay so now <laughs> this is freaky stuff uh, my kid has some toys that fire off on its own for no apparent reason so if you hear sometimes animals speaking in a background <laughs> like for example now oh, <laughs> it's super weird so yeah my wife will turn off the batteries from it yeah the, the, the they start talking out of nowhere now imagine and you you are not touching them for hours and they start talking so it's super super weird but yeah so we are ready to start painting this was like nice five minute intro <laughs> but I was waiting maybe to see if some people will turn out so far we have one 
person watching and we are going to start with the Gilliman flash that is the that skin that I'm really liking Gilliman flash is I think the best skin paint ever uh, till now I really hated painting skins but with this contrast color it is so much easier that it's unbelievable how easy it is to paint skin tones so we are just going to start applying these all over his skin and you'll see in a second that it looks just awesome awesome and it is just one goal of this to make the miniature really look nice okay uh, also as you have to have one like spot color I decided that I will for their cloth and all of those dresses so to say I will use a orange color because I painted those guys blue this one will have to be orange and uh, I was not really happy with that decision but I decided not to change anything uh, I was not happy because that orange really blends with all these brown tones and you kind of don't get that pop out feeling like those iron clads that are blue so you really see them on the table and have that pop out of nowhere like wham and they're here so i was really not happy with the orange but i decided to keep it it is what it is uh, i wanted oh let me just take i'm breathing heavily and i'm not sure why so um, I wanted to maybe use green or or purple but green I want to save for the those fangs that I have that I still have to yet have to assemble and spray paint so I can paint these live also from the next for the next video uh, hey Dower is here again hey Dower are you not in a club in a club playing games <laughs> Usually on a Fridays we have a meeting in our board game club where we play board games but today there were some other things going on over there so we didn't have the room for us. We were kind of kicked out but it's okay it's just one Friday so it's not really that bad. So yeah from the next live painting video for the next I will probably paint something I don't know I'm not really sure what but from that one I'm thinking of creating a poll and you can choose what miniatures you want to see me paint next I mean not the miniature exactly but just the game for example if you want me to paint um, what it's called stuffed fables or green forest or maybe monster slaughter basically you will decide what you want to see and I will paint it for you if there are multiple miniatures and usually there are in a game I will choose which one I don't want to go in that process to like have to create poll for every miniature so you can uh, vote on it it would be like super super not easy to do and it will probably be like you will be choosing what you want to me to paint let's see what do you uh, I was about to ask you the same thing yeah Dower today we don't have game night because it was the uh, anniversary of the space that we usually have our games in uh, I don't know how to say it in English it's like a, it's a city oh wait I am having some vibrations over here from the mobile phone let me just oh oh okay so my um, my I got an uh, email that I am live on YouTube <laughs> I find that super super funny YouTube is telling me that I'm live I know I'm live actually because I'm here painting miniatures I can see I'm live super weird stuff so yeah uh, today uh, our uh, the, the place that we usually have a game night in is celebrating its one year or something <laughs> I'm really not sure how to explain that you're probably not even interested in that so we'll just skip over it don't ask me why but we are 
and I will probably move these paintings on a Friday because when I come back from the game night it's usually I st still stay awake for an hour or two so I can paint it for you whatever you decide I paint next as I already told you and then I can go to sleep and have a Saturday just for myself so yeah it's probably going to be like that okay so this is the skin tone and oh no we are not done I thought we are done but he has some feet here showing okay, a little bit too much paint over here okay so we need to paint now he has lots of feet showing they're all barefoot those test models that I painted were also barefooted which is kind of not good in a Warhammer world in that Age of Sigmar world you don't want to walk barefoot on, the, on that terrain you could stab on a rusty nail and get infection maybe but yeah so we are now he has like some shin, shin guards or something bone looking here uh, but he's still showing over here so we are going to paint over that and I think that is all skin tones done nope still left a little bit here you can not see it but it's here okay I think that now we went through everything okay so maybe just over here but it will probably be painted when I paint the fur so but still we are going to do it okay so now we are done with the fur not the fur the skin of the miniature and the next thing we are going to paint is the fur because that takes the longest time to 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 dry off and for that we are going to use gore grunta fur color which i used previously from um, uh, i used them to make this uh, iron golems uh, rust effect wait so this rust effect this like bronze is basically this gorgonta fur which is <laughs> super fun sometimes you use it completely differently uh, what did I order from games lore uh, well it's a little bit secret <laughs> no it's not uh, actually I ordered uh, the expansion for space base that game that can hold all the expansions and everything so he has some like metal thing here but I think I'll just go over it I will not try to avoid it that much and I'll come back with the white color and repair everything after I'm done with this fur so let's start with the fur and we're going to go very rich on a brush with the color because there's a lot of fur to cover here oh maybe I can even just dodge it I'm doing really fun so far maybe I don't have to paint it it would be less repair for me to do okay see how great this looks it's just one coat so these contrast colors are really something nice I am really enjoying painting with these I will probably paint other miniatures with it but not every game some games just won't work with this type of look so to say because with this you can achieve really nice details but you cannot for example if I want to paint uh, if I when I will be painting uh, the games like uh, like stuffed fables for example stuffed fables they need you to paint the miniatures they have lots of uh, flat surfaces and uh, this color these uh, contrast colors don't work well with the flat surfaces so you will really need to ah, I think I dodged it really nice I have to repair a few things but overall I like it yeah what I was talking about 
uh, they, you want to paint stuff fables in a more cartoonish look so to say because there's lots of flat surfaces and you want to play you know, paint it with more uh, more pronounced highlights and these you can uh, you can achieve it I think with the contrast colors but it would be like super super hard so I will probably not paint those with the contrast colors but so far I am very much enjoying them and how they work and I think that I will probably keep painting with them at least the Warcry miniatures because they're really suited for it maybe not the Stormcast I plan on making Stormcast uh, Daur says be right back <laughs> I'll be here trust me so Stormcasts yeah they are like have a lot of flat surfaces on them so I don't think they would work with the contrast colors but I will most certainly try I will even have some conversions done on them I didn't want to convert these guys I just want them to be as they are and but yeah I found some really nice cool conversions for for the stormcast so it will probably not be it will be it will be converted not probably I will convert them I, I found this with the, the hoods and everything you'll see it. it it's hard to explain you have to see it to, to know what I'm talking about okay so I know you are not seeing right now what I'm doing because these parts are really hard to to get to they are so in behind probably nev nobody would notice it that if I don't paint them but I will notice so I have to paint them okay I think we are done with the fur everything looks furred up so we are going to proceed with the bone color now and first before we do that I will no I will use first some white and repair these few little happy mistakes I did okay let me just take and remove these all these brushes that I don't need I'm back okay so now we are going to do some repair with the white as we did some ah, it's stuck again so I really like these kinds of pots these eye drops but sometimes they get stuck so you need to unclog them like this it's <laughs> stupid but <laughs> what can you do it is what it is okay let me just quickly wash the brush and uh, let's start repairing some mistakes we did okay so we did some boo boo on a helmet here so we are going to go over that part and around his socket for the eyes and the nose we are going to repair that and if I'm not mistaken we have some here this thing here was nicked with the wrong paint not on purpose so we need to clear this one and let me grab some more paint this one this one here okay we have a thing here that is not part of the fur so yeah okay my brush is not I didn't wash the brush very well so now I'm painting like some skin tone I don't know if you can see it it's a little bit I don't know is, is the picture okay it looks like it's a it's okay but 
at the same time it looks a little bit like it's not okay okay so we need to repair this and yeah this fur over here if we can it still didn't dry so I don't want to do it too much because I would probably pull some paints on it like I just did but we are gonna leave it it's really not that bad of a mistake okay so I think we did all the corrections we needed to be done so we don't have much people watching I guess Saturdays are more interesting than Fridays but it is what it is we are still testing the grounds see how things work so we are now going to go with the skeleton horde and this is basically for all the bone parts or his sword his horns on a helmet and all kinds of these little bones sticking out of him so it's bones everywhere bones 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 okay let's start with that okay first of all we are going to go over the entire sword I want to paint the sword first so we're just going to splodge it with paint like douse it in a paint uh, we are going to go back over these teeth parts with the black but for now we are just going to paint everything with this skeletal horde and I really like this paint it is subtle but it really gives you that bony feeling so the horns As you can see painting miniatures with the contrast colors and <laughs> at least these war crime miniatures is like super easy and the results are astonishingly beautiful uh, if you know Slaven he is the guy that sometimes films with me he also bought a few of these colors on my recommendation and his first impressions were oh my god those paints are awesome I'm feeling like a pro now pro painter and everything I mean these paints will not win you any golden demon awards by all means but they're really nice tool if you want to paint miniatures quickly because who wants to play with dull gray miniatures nobody okay so we have some bone down here this is also all bone and he has these bone sticking from his hands his leg so we are going to paint all of these guys too as you can see he has some here and here we must not forget the other side and then at least one here and then he has the shins all over him not all, all over him just on one leg I thought he has on both legs Okay, so far so good. I, I really like this look even though it's lots of brown colors and, and it's kind of dull a little bit, but they're beasts. What can you do? <laughs> oh, Mate just dropped by. So, uh, nice work, man, he says. Thank you, my work buddy. So he's my work buddy, so he has to, he has to say things like this. Uh, he's really not a board gamer. I always tell him come to the board game night. He says oh, I will I will for sure and he never shows up He's just a big troll But yeah, so We are almost done with this color and I'll probably have to leave it to a little bit to to, uh, to dry off bef before I continue to other stuff now optionally we can wait for it to dry off and then go for a second coat somewhere closer to this edge 
maybe to the helmet and then get some nice transitions but it's really up to you if you want to do it or not however you feel when you are painting so I think we did all the bones there are really no more bone parts to paint at least I don't see any at least here that I see so yeah I think this is all bone parts done tutto completo okay um, maybe there are a few places I missed it but nothing that I cannot come back and repair if I if I see it okay so we are done with the bone color and we are going to continue painting I think I can do the cloth part without messing anything else I have to wait for these bone parts to dry out uh, luckily this, this paint really dries quickly so we're going to use a Griff Hound Orange for all the cloth part and since I don't have any more of these I didn't 3D printed these holders I got this gluey sticky stuff that I will put on the bottom and stick my bottle to the <laughs> to the table because I really don't want to spill the paint anymore like I did last time not last time time before that I still like to talk about it because it was like a little bit funny you know I decided oh my god I want to do a live painting videos and then what I do I spill the paint all over it super awesome okay so I think this is holding pretty good I think this is a good idea but wait it's I think it's okay and my little boy is crying in the back so if you hear him my wife is running over there so don't think that like I'm sitting here painting miniatures while my baby is crying I am not father like that but yeah okay so this is really one nice orange color and this is the spot color for 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 this these miniatures all of them they all have this orange cloth on them so they kind of pop out a little bit I'll even do a little bit of highlight on them which I didn't do for I did a little bit of highlight for iron golems so I will do for these two but it is just to bring out the color more to your attention that is the purpose of the spot color uh, yeah so I plan also on painting splintered fangs I think that's the correct name maybe even next time we see each other in this one of these live painting videos depending if I find the time to assemble them and prime them because the weather now it's not really that warm it is a little bit cold and and painting miniatures in cold weather is uh, I mean not painting priming them with the spray is super super hard stuff to do so yeah I think I found one bone I missed it is hidden behind this cloth but I think nobody will notice it but I'll still come back and repair it because I am going to know it's there and I would not be able to stand knowing that I didn't paint that one okay so we have a tricky part here I don't want to go over this skin tone with the orange but this cloth is really really next to it so I have to be really really careful sometimes and we are done with the cloth parts at least these orange ones and I'm super satisfied it looks really cool even though it looks kind of brownish on a monitor as I can see it but trust me it's a fiery orange color and uh, these sticky parts work charms but I took a little bit too much so I'll probably make half of this for, for my next paint okay so what are we going to do next next what 
what are we going to paint next? I'm still waiting for this to dry out. I need to paint with the black, but I need a lot of other things to paint with the black. Okay, so the next thing we are going to use from the paints is... Uh, let me just quickly find it for this vile wood. And while wood we are going to use for all the bandages on the legs and on the hands and also on a fur. Now on the fur I like to do this, I tried out and I like it, so this like spots of black so you get, uh, I mean this fur as it is looks really cool but I don't know if you can see it on this cat that I did some black parts that's wild wood like underneath there and also it just breaks the breaks a little bit of the it's, it's like too much of the same color in one space and you can give it some some uh, what it's called oh my god my, my english is failing me right now uh, when you're trying pattern it's going to give you some pattern like some tiger pattern or something like that so we are going to start with the let me just fix it really good <laughs> i really don't want to spill it all over the place okay so for this we are going to go with a, a little bit tinier brush just because there is some subtle work that it needs to be done and the one that i was using so far it can soak up a lot of paint which can be a problematic a little bit we'll see how this one goes okay I need to switch to bigger one. This small one is not working. This is like too too small of a brush. So I'll just be more careful, try to not, not to soak that much paint with it. And I think I'll definitely need to invest in some new brushes because this one serve their purposes. I have them for like six years or something like that and I painted a lot of miniatures with them now I see that they cannot hold the tip very well which means they are probably gone Davor, I'm not sure if he's still here he told me he will go to Zagreb that's where I bought this one and that's the only place I know that they have the, these brushes and these brushes are really nice so yeah he told me he'll be going there and that he will he might be able to get me brushes and I told him oh man no I don't need brushes I have brushes and they're working really well but now I'm seeing that I just might be needing some brushes I know you cannot see what I'm doing right now I'm sorry but I apologize about that but it is just a weird angle that I need to hit to to get on these under these bandages and everything so sorry for that but it is what it is I cannot do anything I cannot do anything about it new brushes right yeah this one is starting to like spread its tip which means it's over I try to clean it to, to because this means that paint just went inside here probably and I tried to clean it and everything but it just didn't work so yeah I'll probably need a new number I don't know what this number is <laughs> I kinda kinda and there is no more letters on it I scratched it off with the use so yes I'll probably need new brushes and you'll have to get them for me And if you get them for me, you can continue watching my videos and learn how to paint. Painting is easy actually. You just need to practice a lot. That's all. Really, really need to practice like a lot. It is not something that you are born with. At least I believe so. I mean, of course, you have to have some artistic side in yourself to be even interested in this but if you are interested in painting i think i already talked about that 
if you are interested in painting you just pick out a br pick a brush up and start painting and you'll see it's it's not that complicated currently I am in uh, negotiations with my wife to help me paint these miniatures and uh, the negotiations are not going well so far uh, so what did we okay so we need to paint these arm bandages actually I was asking her if she would do work on my bases because I like doing bases but sometimes it's just time consuming and I think it's a good entry point for someone as long as she doesn't ask me to repay it for it and don't tell her but she's listening behind me Uh, you think it's a 2 or a 0 since it's smaller than my 4 and maybe a big no, uh, see this one is a 0 that I know for sure that I didn't scratch the number so this one might be number 2 or 4 maybe I think it kind of shows the number a little bit but I have to watch it on the daylight I would know, yeah, this is, this is a number 2 good eye, good eye catch man, you have some sharp eyesight that you can spot it on a video I am now a little bit confused how did you know that I mean it's it's in a video I know you can like for the, uh, guess oh it looks a little bit bigger or smaller than a brush that I have but <laughs> man that was a good guess so this miniature I need to uh, set up my camera position better but everything I tried wasn't working so now when I'm painting you actually don't see much of the job I'm doing and I know so I will be trying to, to, to reposition the camera a little bit better right now it's sitting on the table I try to put it up in the air but then the if I shake the table just a little bit the camera would like wobble left and right like crazy and it's really not a good thing to watch a painting video and constantly see a wobbling camera it would probably be super super distracting okay so we are going to paint the these handle straps also because we don't want to use like a whole bunch of different colors for the same stuff and we have some over here these are like stripes and there are some on the back okay I need to put the mic a little bit reposition it maybe like so and then you could probably hear me better and I can still flip the camera a little bit so uh, I mean miniature to camera a little bit so you can follow what I'm doing okay so we are going to do a little pattern and I'm just going to go and do like this thing here and then some of the black around here and a little bit here and here, just here and there to break a little bit of the color. It looks awful now, but when it dries out, it will look much, much better. Okay, uh, I just need to repair this bone that I missed, and then we are going to bust out the black one. You rolled a good perception check. Ah, you know I'm not that much into D&D, but I know what you're talking about. Okay, so we are done with this one. These are working miracles. <laughs> I think I should probably just roll it like so and leave it here on the table and just stick the color. It would be much easier. Okay, so next thing, yeah, we need this skeleton horde. 
so we can repair that one little mistake that we have see this bone just behind his leg here I don't know if you can see it. it's right here Oops. I'm bumping the mic I know that's because I put this spot in a very weird place okay so over here and here okay so this part is done he also has some scars I will probably go with some light purplish tone over it or pink I'm really not sure at the moment no I know you can tell it's a pattern even though it's a wet but it looks kind of stupid you see now when it's more dried up it looks much better but when it loses this glossiness because it's still wet it blends really nice and that is what I was talking about that's what I like about it okay so we are going to bust out a black Templar color and this is really nice black it's not that good it was unfindable for a good amount of time I just got it two days ago it was the only color I missed from the contrast set that was hard to find and yeah we are going to go and paint over all the all these teeth on this weapon will be black we are also going to all the straps do with the black color and that would be it for the black okay so let's start first I want to go and do the, these straps because they're super easy to do and the, this color is just that little bit transparent that you need it to be to make it look awesome I don't know if you can see it really well you'll see it when I'm done you'll know what I'm talking about so I'm just going to dip in there even though I know and this strap over here and this one I want to let me just see how good it looks it's really nice black I know it's really subtle you cannot see it that well on on this miniature on these straps but it is really doing wonders kinda did a little mistake but I will not go and repair it because nobody will see it I went a little bit too high over here and went on his body but nobody will notice that unless you tell them so yeah I think I think painting on Fridays was not that good of an idea last time we had five viewers today we have two and one friend that just dropped by for a second so I don't know if I'm going to switch it on Saturdays maybe I will be switching between Fridays and Saturdays depending how I feel like and how the life lets me do it who knows maybe I have to get up early so I don't wanna lose some sleep by painting miniatures online and I wanna go to sleep early in the bed so I go sleep and then we paint tomorrow because then I'll have more time okay this this black on these weapons is really bringing those teeth out looking really good uh, yeah uh, now I don't want to do it over all these parts or this even though it's practically the same thing it's just because I want to do it only on a weapon because 
I don't know, it gives weapon more more look to it. If it was just everything this one color, it would be a little bit, I don't know, lame, so to say. It would not look that good. But when you give it a little bit of this black, it looks much, much better. Don't bother with the view count that much, just focus on having a fun stream, man. No, yeah, I'm really, I'm not that bothered, but you know, it's really hard to talk for an hour. I mean, if there's two people watching and one of them is you, we could just meet live and paint. <laughs> it would be much easier, right? <laughs> so yeah, no, I know, I know, uh, the viewers will come if they come or if they don't, they won't. It's really, it, it is what it is. I am painting because I'm having fun painting miniatures and but I would be much quicker in a painting if I was not doing on a camera because I don't have to worry if the position of the camera is okay can you see what I'm doing I just take the miniature and give it a go and it's usually twice the speed than, than this uh, what I mean when I paint live on a live stream it takes me twice the amount of time that I need when I'm painting that is not online for example this guy I completely painted it in like 20 minutes and I was really just trying out how everything will work will work I was really not sure which colors to use and all that and it was like 20 minutes and now we are 46 minutes in and I'm still working with this guy even though he's almost complete we need just few little touch-ups and we are done with him I don't know if I should maybe bust out the second miniature and paint that one or just end the stream let the people decide what do you want me to do do you want me to continue painting or should I end it up with one miniature yeah that black looks awesome this sword wait let me just put it on a white background check it check it it looks super cool and we are done with the black parts okay now we need to do some repair before we go to the last color and we are going to also since we are repairing <laughs> I'll stay if you stay it's like a love story <laughs> stay with me yeah so I need to repair a few things that I did it's contrast colors so repairing is it, I'm really doing it a little more uh, not that much I was expecting to do it even more than I'm doing it but and since since we are doing the repairs we are also going to highlight his cloth because I want it to pop out more as I already told you and this is how we do it whoop, whoop. okay first of all I want to repair this thing I did here because now it's all dried up and I want it to look really good so that thing here and I wanted to paint over this thing white because this is like a metal and I want it to be a different color this thing is also metal so we are going to that and now oh, I forgot to close the paint now don't do that because <laughs> they are going to dry out so be careful with them so yeah we are going to do some highlights and I need to water down a paint really really water it down to a like water consistency and we are just going to do a subtle highlights on this orange cloth part just like so nothing much we just really want to show some edges and that is that we really don't want to overdo it and maybe overdo it a little bit on one of the miniatures but it's really fine however you decide to do it it's going to be okay 
see it looks much much better but you'll see it better when I do it on this side of the miniature okay the paint all dried up I need some more water to it So I'm, I'm mostly targeting the areas that are torn apart and all these edges to show like it's worn down or something but as always it's really up to you how much you want to do it I was thinking of doing that stippling effect it's not stippling I'm not sure what the correct term is when you are doing it like so like doing this little dotted lines it looks more damaged worn out if you do it that way but we can do it why not let's try and do it on this part just like so really let's do it on this part here we just do it like tuk 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 tuk. just a few little dots a few little streaks and it gives you that weathered look to it now I know I shouldn't probably do it with the white but I really want to exaggerate these highlights as I already told you because I want them to be like a spot color when you see a miniature when I want this orange to pop I'll probably do the rim of the miniature orange also when I'm done with the bases and everything I'm still deciding those iron golems will probably have the blue base and these ones will have the orange and the splittered fangs will have the green one and I'll pick one for the storm casts they will not be blue <laughs> believe it or not so I think I overdid a little bit but I like it I like this high contrast highlights they really do give miniature more look let's just try okay so I did too much over here but I don't care and one last thing is to paint all the metal parts and for that let me just wash the brush a little bit you always have to wash your brush after use and for that we are going to use a Space Wolf's Grey. Space Wolf's Grey is basically a bluish greyish tone of the miniature, of the miniature, of the color. And let me just shake it up. You're probably loving the sounds of me shaking the pot right next to the mic. So it gives it a little bit of kind of bluish metalish look and I tried it and I liked it for example this one as you can see this metal part over here and this thing over here on his chest is done with the metal and I think it's really subtle but it breaks up a little of this old brown tones as you can see it's really brown this miniature right now but that will change soon because we are going to add a little bit of blue grayish and see how it looks it looks much much better and I'm not sure if the camera is really picking it up because of the lights and everything I don't see the monitor very well but yeah okay and we need to go over this thing here and just give it a nice wholesome coat and if it pulls a little bit it's not even a problem it really gives a little bit of shadow in it which cannot hurt it looks good it looks really good and we have this part over here on his chest and we have this thin little thing over here and all we have left is do to do a helmet 
Uh, yeah, they really look like something from Conan, most definitely, but they are not. I think that Warhammer has no connections to Conan. I mean, any Viking with the horn this big will probably be like, oh, that's this guy from Conan. <laughs> Because it, it it's just the Conan is most known for those types of uh, helmets and look and everything. Okay, so now I have to just go inside here. And you have to be really quick with this because it dries super fast sometimes. Sorry for bumping the mic. You need to go really fast unless when it dries up it can be a really nasty looking and you don't want that the paint just doesn't work well okay I think we are done that is that the miniature is painted it is complete it is complete now so yeah that's that's the guy from start to finish from white miniature I want more stuff to look like it came from Conan I don't know I'm not that much of a Conan fan I, I saw the movies and everything but I don't know but if you talk about He-Man now that's a thing we should talk about more but yeah not now so This is the guy, he is done, he is complete and as you can see painting with contrast miniatures is like, let me just center it a little bit, painting with contrast mini uh, paints, not miniatures, contrast paints is like super easy and super effective. I know if the for the fur, do you see the, the pattern, I don't know, it's kind of, it's really really subtle and I like that even though I was hoping it will be more than a saddle but I'll probably do that with uh, the storm casts they also have some fur on their cloth and I'll probably try and paint them to be more in a contrast more of the light to dark uh, like tiger looking uh, miniature but yeah so that's it he is done, he is complete, we can remove it from the base now, the base is not done of course, the base will be done, I don't know when, hey Miha, you just joined and I was thinking of shutting down and maybe I should just do one quick miniature, uh, yeah it, it's not that bright I think, but it's not uh, dark, I really wanted to avoid it to be super super dark that's why I didn't want to paint him like with the with the super dark tone with that some miniatures have but yeah, uh, maybe I should paint one more, wait a second It's late here for you. Yeah, you are from Slovenia, if I'm not mistaken. Or am I mistaken greatly? I'm not really sure. I think you told me once, but it was a long time ago we talked about something. I think you mentioned it. Not really sure if I remember it correctly. So, yeah. I don't know. Maybe we can paint this one. Because this one can be done in like 15-20 minutes but you will probably not see that much of a job done because Slovenia, yes, yes uh, I'm glad I am correct so let's try and quickly paint this one like super super quickly let me show you how quickly can you paint the miniature and uh, I'm, I have to be on a baby duty, so if he starts crying, I'll have to leave you for some time. But don't worry, I will be right over, right back. I will not stop the stream or anything. 
so let's go and paint this guy like super quickly just to show you how easy it is to paint with contrast colors I know I'm saying that over and over again but it really is super super easy to paint with them and I think everyone should try everybody start painting miniatures it's it was enough of the playing with the only gray miniatures on the table or I don't know blue green whatever type of plastic they do for the miniature so let's start timing this one okay so it's 2301 let's see if we can paint it in a half an hour or sooner okay it's a personal challenge for me and I'm doing it with the contrast colors and I will try to do as little repairs as possible so but because these are all mainly brown colors it is just you have to start with the lightest brown and to the darkest brown and you will probably have no need to repair anything because those colors go well over each other so it's really not that hard to paint a dark brown over the lighter brown right okay so where you been okay so here all right oh righty boy now this one will be like super fast and easy to paint he has a lot of skin and not that much of the fur and all that so it will be probably less than half an hour that I gave myself to paint this one I like to challenge myself sometimes right now my best man challenged me to paint the terrain for the war cry over the weekend and I did spray painted it and I started to mendle a little bit about on it I'm making it look like a desert terrain because uh, that's why I still didn't decide on a basis I want all the miniatures for my war cry to have the same basis as if someone wants to play the war cry with me and I bring all the miniatures and all the teams and everything and they're on the same basis because they play on the same surface all the time and the war cry comes with the, the double sided map which has two different one is uh, like a sand two different looks one is like a sand look and another is like some greenish darkish I don't know ghoulish look so yeah I decided that I want to go for that greenish uh, no, not that greenish, the, but that sand look and I want these miniatures to have a sand base of sorts so I am still working on that I will probably not finish that over the weekend but who knows painting speedrun, yeah, or speedrun painting I think it's more correct uh, those colors look magic, normal painting and wash all in one you yeah, I know, I know, it is uh, I was a little bit skeptical when I first heard about these paints but once I saw them in action and once I actually tried them I was like what it is like you are doing a paint and a wash all in one go and they have really nice heavy pigments in them so you don't really have to bother that much to get a nice coverage and as I already was talking about uh, painting skin tones I hated it I would hate these miniatures before the contrast colors but now after the contrast colors they're really something else I really enjoy painting these miniatures even though they are like 90% skin as you can see and I really really hate painting skin on a skin on a miniature because I'm not good at it I really am not good at it painting eyes also but that's a completely different thing that's another beast I need to tackle and I'm painting for what more than 10 years or so and I still don't paint eyes I try from time to time but they really don't turn out how I imagined and then I but I'm just bummed but practice makes perfect that's what my teacher told me in school and that's what I'm sticking with 
Okay, so we are done with the skin. No, we are not done with the skin. I forgot, almost forgot, like on the other guy that I just painted, uh, their foot is showing some skin, so they're barefooted. So we need to paint that. We cannot avoid that. And there's like his. Okay. And the other one. Okay, so I think we are going to do this in half an hour. I think it's doable. And it just goes to show you how good these paints are. If you have a little bit of practice, you can do a... Whoops, I bumped the mic and I'm sorry for that. So, I'm constantly apologizing, so I will stop apologizing for bumping the mic. It is just a thing that it happens, so... It is what it is, because my setup is currently really not that good. Okay, so next thing, I think we are going to go with the gore grunt of fur. And we are going to do the fur of the miniature. And for the fur part, of course he has some fur over here and also this thing up here we'll do that too I just have to be careful not to mess up with the skin tone because this one is darker than the skin tone and it will show if I mistakenly paint over it so you have to be like a little bit of careful sometimes not always just sometimes when you are painting with these type of colors but it looks really nice these paints so I really try to not go over this one but I'll have to come in back and repair it even though you will probably not even notice that it's here okay I took a little bit too much paint so I need to brush it off a little bit and just spread this around that was a little bit too much of a paint for this little thingy on his head I'm not sure how to call it what, what is the correct word my English sometimes completely fails me it is what it is, I can do nothing about it. Okay, so the fur is done. We are done with the fur. I don't see that we missed anything in these speed painting. There are a few little white dots, but that's really not that much of a problem since you are watching miniatures from really afar when you are playing on a table, so you have to know that you are not watching miniatures like up this close so you know you see all the all the mistakes that you did so if you did them if you do a mistake and it's really not that noticeable just forget about it and continue painting because if you want to go and once constantly repair all the things you did wrong on the miniatures you will probably never be done with the miniatures okay skeleton horde is next for all the bony parts of the miniatures and just I have to clean the brush really well you don't want to have any water in it it can be a little bit damp but not with the water because these colors well, when you mix them up with water they dilute like super crazy and lose the pigment and everything so you really want to avoid that and we need to paint all the weapons all the bone parts of the weapons and all the bones that are sticking from their bandages which this time I hope I will not miss because I don't want to come back and repair them now as you can see I did some little skin on this thing inner part of this but as you can see if you go with it like so you completely cannot see that 
it was there so you don't have to repair every mistake you do it will repair itself but of course you have to know if you if you can go over it or not with some other color and not see it through and the position of course matters if I do a mistake on his face of course I need to repair that because it's his face it's like a, not a focal point but it is what people mostly will see since it's the most prominent part of the miniature it's first thing you know what I'm trying to say my English is failing again I start talking before I start thinking and sometimes I corner myself with words that I don't know how to use I want I know what I want to say but sometimes I don't know words for it but I still start rambling in, in a hope that I will remember the words once I need them to tell them it also happens when I'm filming my reviews and all that because my reviews if you watched any of them they're not scripted by any means I just switch on the camera and start talking and that's that and I try to be as coherent as possible and try to ramble as less as I can and sometimes there are bloopers which I started to I, I hate myself for not doing that sooner to leave the bloopers in each of the videos at the end of each video I leave bloopers since there are a lot of bloopers it is just so you see I sometimes really have fun filming those because sometimes not everything goes from the first try and you have to do it again and again and again and again until you get it right and yeah sometimes it's like from the first try uh, the the hardest I ever I ever not the hardest but the longest the most tries I ever did for for single take was when I was filming uh, what's, the, what's the name of the game oh my god I forgot it was like a throne like a game but set in in like these neon universe thing and yeah uh, I did um, I did that like eight or nine times or something like that so before before yeah bloopers are the best yeah they are the best I, I really like them it, it just shows you that sometimes it's not like that easy the final product that you see you really don't know what's going behind the scenes so to say okay so we are done with the bone parts of the miniature I decided that other tooth that I went over I'll probably not fix it or maybe I will if I'm left enough time because now I'm speed painting and I'm trying to to finish this before that 30 minute mark runs out okay next thing next thing I wanna do next thing I wanna do is next thing I want to go with the wild wood wild wood and I wanna go and cover that part okay so again we are going to need this sticky thingy because I don't wanna spill paint anymore and okay we are in the business okay so now we are going to go over his bandages and all that shebang so yeah some uh, that game I'm really not sure what its name is right now I think it took me like nine or eight tries before I managed to say everything I wanted to say uh, from the first try I was thinking of changing my format a little bit so I chop it out when I make a mistake and just uh, like have these weird jumps that you know some that I usually use in my uh, vlogs these jump cuts but I don't know that means that I would probably then cut out the bloopers and I really like those bloopers I think they're really cool and fun I don't know it is just it's fun I like seeing bloopers on others channel on other people channels so I decided to put them on mine also I, I was thinking why the hell not they're really fun to watch and people can see how the process of making videos is going and what challenges you have to face off 
when you cannot pronounce the word correctly or entire sentence has no <laughs> sense whatsoever so that's why I started to incorporate those wow my my mouth is super dry super super dry and I did a mistake I poured some drinks for me so I can drink and refresh myself while I'm talking to you because I from the last time I noticed that that's the stuff I was missing I was really thirsty but I didn't want to get up and uh, leave the dead air on for a few seconds just to get a drink and now I did pour myself a drink but I did a second mistake which I learned and that is that you don't use it a carbonated drink uh, to be specific a uh, coca-cola so then you need to burp a lot and I guess burping live on a live stream is really not something people would enjoy so yeah I'm refraining myself from drinking too much I just took a sip or two and now I'm really starting to feel the thirst but I don't want to start stop painting because I challenge myself I need to do this in a half an hour and every second is counting so yeah we are also painting for you that just joined we are also painting the handles not just the straps but the handles too and as you can see there are some, some straps here which will go over it it doesn't matter the color is still not dry but it really doesn't matter it blends really well as I already told you if you go with the darker color or the lighter you will be good there will be no issues so yeah okay we have three people watching tell me something people what should I talk about next I am all out of words it's really hard to talk for like three hours constantly not three hours but you know what I'm trying to say for for hour and a half maybe two hours without stopping it is really challenging more challenging than I thought I thought I can ramble a lot was what was the problem talking to to strangers well some of you are strangers but I don't I don't think of you as a strangers everybody on my channel uh, I still don't have that many subscribers so I kind of I can remember for each of my subscribers that one in one point get in touch with me for every reason I get to remember a lot about them I remember Mihai is from Slovenia right so I like that but once when I became planetary popular and, and then I won't be able to remember all the subscribers uh, names and, and uh, their background or whatever but so far I really like that we are not that many okay so see I did mistakenly not painted these bones that are sticking here with the bone color and I always paint those with the bone color so I'll need to come back and repair that but since we are repairing that watched anything good recently you mean from the TV show stuff like that well the second season of Mayans just started uh, and, and it, it is really a good show if you watched Sons of Anarchy it is a spin-off of that TV show and if you didn't watch Sons of Anarchy you should most definitely watch it I'm not a motorcycle fan or anything or I don't want to be in a gang but that show is really really good and the best part is it has seven seasons and it is a complete story the guy when he wrote the show and everything he said I need seven seasons to tell the story I want to tell and that is it the show will be over after that and they plead him 
please do more the show is doing really well and he was like no i said only four it's only seven seasons and he really sticked to it which i applaud because sometimes they're like cash grab companies and they would just want to profit 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 and if the show is good they would they they don't care if they ruin it with some made up nonsense stories just so they can go for two more seasons and get more money out of it so yeah he decided he decided he wants to do seven seasons he did seven seasons and that show is one of the best shows i ever watched and now they he's doing the spin-off with the mayans that's a fraction from the show that they go against to and then they are together you know how it is in all these shows so yeah it follows a different group of bikers and their problems and stuff they do that are good or bad depending if you like good guys or bad guys or whatever so yeah i need to repair some other things that i just saw this bandage here on his hand i will paint that in orange since all the cloth parts are orange on these guys but this color is kind of darker so i need to just a little bit bring it back a little bit with the white okay that is done and we need the skeleton horde to repair that few things that we did a little boo boo on and I think I will not make it in that 8 minutes but it will be like super super close and you can still you can still not deny it, that it was like super fast painting one miniature in under an hour 30 minutes 45 minutes it is like crazy how fast you can do it with these contrast colors i really like contrast colors too bad they don't work on everything too bad Okay, next thing we are going to do with the Black Templar, all the straps and the teeth, teeth on the weapon. I need to drink some fluids or else I will probably die out of thirst. there's currently Batman with Michael Keaton on TV and I'm missing that because I'm painting miniatures that's one of the best Batmans ever okay so now we need to paint all these weapon teeth parts with the black one I don't know if you can see it well really nice looking that black part on these weapons is something I'm super happy I tried and it worked I don't know it might be on a, on a miniature itself like on a picture from GW Games Workshop maybe they also did it like that but I'm really not sure maybe I took it from them without knowing like you know I was influenced by it without knowing but I like how it turns out it really gives some definition to the weapon gives a little bit more to pop out stand out a little bit Mm, 
dead air a little bit sorry I was <laughs> I kind of lost myself a little bit in a miniature in a painting but yeah okay so this part is done but we are not done with the black because we need to paint these straps or his puny little tiny body because other miniatures are much much bigger than these guys these are like cannon fodder you just send them and they die but they're really cheap in you know, points cost so it's not that much of a problem I don't know if you played Warcry or not but you should definitely try this game is awesome I know it's games workshop and people think oh my god I need like million gazillion money to get into it but you really don't if someone else has a terrain or you can make your own terrain you don't have to buy that one that comes in a box you can play the war cry for like I don't know 300 kunas that would be like what dollar is 6.5 it's like I don't know how much 50 bucks a little less and it's really not that expensive for for such a good game and and these miniatures really look stunning stunning okay I need to switch to to a lighter not a lighter <laughs> smaller brush because these parts are like super super tiny and if I go with that big brush that would not end up good but with this one it works perfectly I think I even did a little too much I have to just push it around a little bit We are almost done with the miniature. And that means I will be signing off since we painted two miniatures tonight. And that's really something. Dabare, hit me any up any time you wanna play Warcry. Just tell me to bring it to the club and we are on my friend so good night go to bed sleep i'll paint on my own yeah okay so we did this part this black part of the miniature is done and now we just have two more colors to use and we are done it will be around 40 45 minutes which i'm still proud of since it was one miniature to a really decent standard previously you would not be able to paint miniatures this fast and have it look good good night my friend have a good sleep okay so next up we are going to go with the orange and paint over the cloth parts once they do once those dry up we can do the highlight on them that's why I'm doing them right now and then I have to do some other metal parts and we will be done with this miniature and that is that for tonight okay I really like this orange it's really like fiery nice looking orange color ok 
okay so I painted some orange on his arm I went a little bit too much on it but I don't care nobody will see it okay so one more color and we are almost done so now we are going to go with the space wolves gray for the metal parts and there are really no that many metal parts on this miniature so this will be a really quick job we have this little pin over here that he has he has a little his chest here and then he has this insignia here on his like a belt buckle or I don't know what it is it looks like a belt buckle I think it's a belt buckle not really sure and I just noticed I didn't paint some orange down here and I wanna repair that going with other one color or the other it's not that much of a problem but when you forgot to paint an entire part of the miniature that's bad that's something you want to you want to come and repair so we are done with the metal at least what I can see there's really nothing more to do okay so just a quick work on the orange and then we are going to highlight these clothes and close close clothes close Ugh, my English my words and that's it as you can see it was like a super super tiny thing to do and now the last thing we need to do is take some good old white color and just highlight these cloths that he has since we did it with all the miniatures so far it's just to give them a little bit pop to pop out more water it down because you really need to water it down to the like super water consistency even though this is not a fully dried miniature yet I'm just gonna go because I know there's really no damage going to happen because I'm going to avoid this part I'm not going to paint over it so yeah just make this like stippling effect ok I tried a little bit to go over that and we have to highlight some of his band-aid on his arm and that is that we are done I don't want to do anything more on this miniature I think it's complete optionally you can do one thing not you can do I will do one thing and that is I will use wild wood to give some this some of this fur a little bit more definition because I did that on every other fur so I will continue with this practice so I'll just take a little bit of super dark brown and just go and make it like paint like in some lines for example here and then we'll do like a darker line here just to break some of that and maybe give it like that tiger look or however you want to call it a 
okay so that is that hour and a half that's how much usually we paint so yeah we are done the miniature is complete and can you imagine that we painted these two guys like this guy here and this guy here in what hour and a half with some talking and some funning around you can basically do that in a less than an hour to paint all these miniatures so yeah next time we here I'll probably have all of these guys painted up and ready for battle maybe I should do a video where I base these miniatures I'm really not sure I'll see how I feel about it if you are interested in stuff like that so that is that maybe I'll just do one video with the basing of when I have all the miniatures painted but yeah that is that that's everything for tonight thank you guys and girls for watching and uh, see you next week when we'll do some more streaming and painting good night <laughs>